In 2010, the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering made the decision to redesign the curriculum in mechanical engineering. A crucial component of the new curriculum is ME 2900, which is the gateway course for majors entering mechanical engineering. The course is built around an integrated teaching platform, a six-cylinder air-driven motor that is controlled by a microcontroller. This video shows the process by which this platform and the course were created over the past 18 months. The course was designed in part to meet a need for more practical, hands-on engineering experiences for our students. Students taking the course are immersed in acquiring engineering skills in the machine shop, the electronics lab, and the CAD lab. Working in small teams, students fabricate and assemble the air motors, then program the Arduino microcontroller to directly inject air into each cylinder. At the conclusion of the first pilot course in December 2011, we asked the students to invite their families to an open house to see the results of their efforts. It was a great time for them. An important constraint in designing the course was the fact that 300 students must take the course every year. At the end of the autumn pilot course, it was clear to us that the first version of the motor was far too complex for the number of students who would be taking the course beginning in autumn 2012. In December 2011, we quickly designed a new version of the motor that required much less machining, but more sophisticated control algorithms. We believe this motor is the perfect platform for our purposes. Working under the close supervision of Chad Bivens, the students quickly gained a level of skill and confidence in the machine shop that's really unprecedented in our department or in the College of Engineering. The students seem to really appreciate learning to machine from someone who has spent his life mastering the trade. Beginning in early February, students were introduced to the Arduino microcontroller that they would program to control air injection to each cylinder. Over the next three weeks, they would become increasingly adept at programming this device. Anything that you're not, that you're missing in your kit, like if you're missing a Our graduate teaching assistant, Michael Neal, has been a crucial part of our team. Michael wrote the step-by-step -step instructions that the students followed and was constantly available to help with any problems. In this task, he was greatly assisted by Kevin Baverka, an undergrad assistant working for Joe West. Working together, Michael and Kevin quickly brought the students to a level of confidence that is really quite impressive.
After working with Chad for a few weeks, the students overcame their initial fear of the machine shop and many of them became quite adept at machining. Several students have developed a real interest in machining as a result of taking the course. Several of these students will be undergraduate TAs when we roll out the semester version of the course this autumn. Joe West's original prototype for the second air motor was a bit too small for students to be able to machine it easily. The first working prototype of the new larger motor was finished in early February and we immediately put it to the test. The students used the first prototype motors in the lab to understand how the Arduino would control the flow of air to the motors. This is not a perfect. Joe West has also been an indispensable part of our team. In addition to driving the design of the second version of the air motor, Joe has also gone far beyond what we could have reasonably expected. In addition to being a first-class technician, Joe is also a very gifted teacher. No trace on the screen. That's fine. So, arrow here on the right top. So that lets you know when the scope was seen. From the first line to the second line and the first line. Okay. Is it? By early March, the students were finally ready to put all the pieces together. Working in teams of three, they assembled their motors, then took them upstairs to the lab to hook them up to the Arduinos and turn them on. Of course, there were the occasional malfunctions. Okay, this is MJ's code, is that right? <laughs> it must be MJ's code. This is what she learned working on the first robotics of CSG, right? I'm going to send this to Sweeney. At the conclusion of the second pilot course in March, we once again invited the students, their families, and our faculty and staff to an open house to see what the students had accomplished. Once again, it was a great success. Some of the younger family members in particular were quite interested in what their brothers and sisters had been up to.
While the course and the motor will both continue to evolve over the next few years, we're confident that we've designed a good engineering experience for our students. Our longer term goal is to have these air motors integrated into subsequent courses throughout the mechanical engineering curriculum. Hang on.